Dear Cody, it's finally the big day, the day that seems like we've been waiting for forever. Nine years ago, you were walking me to my classes in high school, and now we are getting married. Time sure does fly. I would have never dreamed before I met you that my high school boyfriend would be the one that I spend the rest of my life with. It is amazing what God has laid out for our lives, and I cannot wait to unravel the rest with you. You are the man of my dreams, the man I'm honored to spend forever with. You are the person that I will strive to be the best for and to never let you walk any obstacle alone. Rain or shine on this special day, I know it will be one of the best days of my life. I've sent with this letter just a small keepsake for you to wear today and also a remembrance of what today has meant. This special gift symbolizes several different qualities that I see in you every day and have prayed for in a husband. Thoughtfulness, you always put my needs in front of yours. Fun, you're my go-to person when I've had a bad day or want to laugh my butt off. Understanding and emotionally balanced. You kept me grounded, especially through my wedding planning and taught me that your small things are not going to matter in the end. You're my best friend and I cannot wait to call you my husband in a few hours. Whoa, that sounded weird, smiley face. I vow to never stop putting God first in our relationship. I love you and I promise to love you forever. Love, XOXO, your future wife. On behalf of Greg and Rhonda Boyette and Dana and I, we would like to thank everyone for coming to celebrate the marriage of Sarah and Cody. If you can't tell by Sarah's height, she is my daughter. They say the father of the bride's speech is usually seen as a bit of a warm act and something that's to be endured rather than enjoyed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've got 25 feet of speech to read tonight. <laughs> oh boy.